know, life is hard. We work, we eat, we sleep, and then we do it all again. The one thing that stops us going insane is the little bits we do in between. Some people play video games, some people read novels, some people fuck dogs. Me? I like to tear up liberal snowflakes until nothing remains but tattered rags left to the mercy of the winds. Oh, and films. I love me some films. So put up a video about one liberal snowflake's outlook on whitewashing in Hollywood, and I will be on to that within hours. Seriously, hours. Scarjo is about to pop off in this year's original motion picture, White Stravaganza, based on a Japanese property, Ghost in the Shell. Oh yes, sir! And I'm getting a semi just thinking about it. And we're here for it? Because where else would we go? Hollywood, if you want people to stop complaining about this, maybe stop doing it? Yep, that's right. Whitewashing in Hollywood yet again. I guess the world didn't end last time, so they thought they'd give it another go. And if we go the length of this video without him mentioning Black Johnny Storm, I'm gonna kick off. Ugh, Cuckflake, why do you make everything about race? Yeah, that's a joke, obviously, but why do you make everything about race, Cuckflake? Most of the videos you do for Dot Mike are about race. Why is that? Don't you have any other use? First of all, it's Sir Benjamin Cuckflakington III. If you're going to insult me, use my whole name. The third, yeah? Not just a cuck, but a cuck like his father before him, and his father before him. I guess playing the oppression card really does get you laid. Whitewashing is when people of European descent play people of color in theatrical media. People of European descent and people of color. So what you meant was white people and the rest of the fucking world. Because them Caucasians are evil, aren't they? And you avoided the whole why do you make everything about race bit, didn't you? I don't know why you acknowledged it if you aren't going to address it. I'm just putting it out there, mate. You've got a lot of fucking issues. It's like Rachel Dolezal, but at the movies. This has been happening for ages with racist caricatures of black people dating all the way back to vaudeville. Well, that's racist by modern standards. That wasn't seen as racist then. I know it's a bit I can't believe they did that. But in another 50 years, they'll be wondering how the fuck some people managed to complain so much about shit that didn't matter. Race might even be irrelevant then, and the only animosity would be between those who like pineapple on their pizza and those who don't, and that'll be World War fucking 3. Orson Welles, aka Young Rosebud, deadass put Laurence Olivier in full-on blackface to play Othello, one of Shakespeare's only black characters. I don't get why blackface is supposed to be something we all get mega pissed off about, you know? I mean, it's not like they even look black, they just look like they have face paint on or got a fucking bad spray tan. And who does it hurt? No one. I don't give a shit. Full-on blackface. I don't. Don't give a shit. Could you even imagine Sydney Poitier's Twitter fingers if Twitter had existed back then? Well, you know, Twitter kind of did exist back then. It was called talking. Look, it wasn't a problem at the time. You weren't even alive then, you twat. So fuck off with your retro issues. Things are getting better, but a common problem that we're still seeing is white actors getting roles that were written for people of color. But how is it a problem? Oh fuck, we've got a headline. CBS drama Mission Control, never fucking heard of it, cast white actors in roles written for actors of color. Fucking actors of color? Fuck me. Oh, and there's a little bit more. This isn't good. Well, it isn't bad either. What's the fucking problem? If you're gonna argue authenticity, I'm down with that. I'm totally with you. But anything else, you can fuck off. CBS? Thought I didn't see it, huh? In 2010, the Twitter hashtag Donald for Spider-Man took the internet by storm, with people asking for Donald Glover, a black. Yeah, I know Donald Glover. And even if I didn't, I'd know he was black because your racially obsessed ass is talking about him. To play Spider-Man, and I was definitely down. But as he says in his stand-up special, Half the world was like, Donald for Spider-Man, we're only gonna watch the next Spider-Man of Donald Glover's playing Peter Parker. And the other half was like, he's black, kill him! Oh fuck, he's got a comedy special. I'm well on that. I love Donald Glover. He cracks me up and his music is awesome. But you have to remember, that was a comedy special. He told a fucking joke. I'd be down for him being Spider-Man, just not Peter Parker, because I think we struck gold with the one we currently have, and Miles Morales is our black Spider-Man. And check this out, is voiced by Donald Glover. Almost a perfect fit, wouldn't you think? So I think you can go chow down on a hairy one. And boy, things have not changed. Angry people are super vocal when a black person plays a fictional character. And when a white lady plays a robot with a human brain built in a fictional Japanese city. That was the premise of this video, wasn't it? Remember 2015's trash ass Fantastic Four reboot? Oh yeah, he's gonna talk about Black Johnny Storm. Fucking shit film though, fuck. 
people were tripping when they found out Michael B. Jordan was going to play Johnny Storm, a fictional white man who catches on fire. Yeah, because of the authenticity. Fans are quite fucking fierce when it comes to that shit. If you change something for the sake of it, they get pissed off. What up, white people? You own fire now? Nah. Fucking hell, this level of humor is gonna kill me. However, when Tilda Swinton was playing the Ancient One and Doctor Strange, Jake Gyllenhaal was Prince Dasan and the Prince of Persia, all the middle schoolers in The Last Airbender, and damn near every actor in every movie about Egypt was whitewashed. Y'all were hella silent. And where the fuck were you when Johnny Storm was cast as a black guy? Don't give me that shit. You either care about race when it comes to established characters, or you don't. You don't get to pick certain bits of it to be offended by. Pick a fucking side, you cunt. So where are y'all at? I'll wait. TikTok. Oh, fine. The ticking is reminding me how much of my fucking life I'm wasting on your retarded ass. This article was written by Rob Bricken, senior editor of io9, according to his Twitter page, which also shows he's white. Are you chowing down on that hairy one yet? People are quick to defend the source material, and believe me, I get it. I love comics, anime, manga, video games, just like any other person. Do you, though? Or are you just saying that so it appears as though you're a fan of those genres and therefore care about the movie adaptation staying true to the original? Because because you just defended a black Johnny Storm and a black Peter Parker who are white in the source material while simultaneously shitting on anyone white playing someone who isn't white in the source material. Can you please give me lessons on how to be as self-aware as you are? But let's remember the source material is fictional. That means it's happening in our imagination. The fucking films are fiction too, you fucking moron! And just how much of a comic book is happening in the imagination? Have you ever seen one? They have pictures, you know. You might imagine their voices, I know I do, but their appearance is all there, you fucking... And if it's happening in our imagination, anything could fucking happen. Wow. Yeah! Wow! I'll tell you one thing that won't happen. You making a fuck bit of sense. First up, easy one. Idris Elba, he should play James Bond. No, James Bond is white. I'm not denying the man is capable. He's a fucking strong actor. But James Bond is white. It's in the books. Why is it all right for a black person to take a white role, but it's whitewashing the other way round? He's black. Extremely black. Is it just water? And there was me hoping it was bleach. Taraji P. Henson. She could play Corella DeVille, the President of the United States. Hell, I already cast her to play me in my own biopic. She's got range. She does, but I don't know if she's up to playing someone with a mental handicap. If she pulls it off, though, that's an Oscar right there. Viola Davis has had a wonderful career so far, but I want to see her play a cop. She already has a show called How to Get Away with Murder. You know, because cops get away. Ah, cops get away with murder. Yeah, yeah. Please don't come back. Mahershala Ali. Honestly, you can do whatever the f he wants. There's some things that it's hard to be in this world. He's black, he's Muslim, and he has an Oscar. Black and Muslim, and he has an Oscar. But I thought they were oppressed. Cat Williams, elephant in the room. I know everyone's thinking it. He should play Jesus of Nazareth. Good to know we're still talking fiction. Jesus would have been Middle Eastern, but whatever. It's fine when black people do it, apparently. Pimpin, pimpin, pimpin. It's wild now. That was... Ah, oh, fuck, that was quite good. Again. You're the sort of person who uses the clapping emoji all the fucking time, aren't you? Hollywood. Representation matters. And maybe, just maybe, we should be rethinking the whitewashing in our own imaginations. If racial representation matters, why can black people take the roles of other races? You aren't making any sense. There's no use getting all preachy when you keep fucking contradicting yourself. Unless you are of the mind that it's one rule for some and one rule for others. In which case, you have lost all battles, both past and future, about how fucking oppressed you are. That would be a right that another group of people doesn't have. Do you know what I take back what I said earlier? In 50 years time, people will actually be wondering how those who were supposedly against racial discrimination did more to add to the problem than to solve it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget you can become a patron to support this channel. Every little helps, even if it's just a dollar. And remember, if Hollywood is racist, Bollywood are fucking Nazis.